In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the converter's easy presets to output top quality audio for any player. Let's get started. First open Roxio Creator. Then click on the Music Audio tab and choose Batch Convert and Transfer. This will launch the Roxio Audio Converter. Then click on the Add Tracks button and choose Audio Files to Convert. I can choose multiple files by holding down the Shift key. This makes it easy to select an entire album. Then click the Add button. I'll keep adding audio tracks in this manner until I have everything I need. Now I'll add audio from an unprotected DVD. When adding audio from DVDs, you first select the movie you want to extract the audio from, then click the Add button. The audio will then be extracted from the video and saved to hard disk. Uncompressed WAV files are the default format, but you can also save directly to MP3, WMA, or iPod AAC files if you want. I'll save as WAV. Depending on the length of your movie, it may take a little time to extract the file. Now that I've added all the audio tracks I want to convert, it's time to output them. I can output them all at one time, or make a selection. I'm going to skip these two tracks and output the rest. But first I'll check their audio tags to make sure they're correct and complete by clicking the Edit Audio Tags button. This shows me which tracks have been identified with Music ID tags. My albums don't have full information yet, so I'll click the Music ID button and missing information gets filled in. If any of it is incorrect, I can change it. The track from my home movie DVD needs changing. Everything looks good now, so I'll click the Done button. For output, I have two choices. I can convert the tracks to a new format and save them to my hard drive, or I can send them directly to my portable player. Let's try converting them first. The Convert window has a lot of options. In addition to changing formats, I can move, rename, and reorganize the files, which can be extremely useful if you are consolidating music libraries and want everything to have the same file and name structure. For example, I can save the converted files in an artist album file structure, or a genre artist file structure. I can also change the file names to almost any combination of information. I'll choose genre, artist, album, and track, number, title for my tracks, and save them to my music folder. A preview of what the new folders and file names will look like is given at the bottom. For the output format, I could select iPod AAC or WMA, but I'll choose MP3 good quality since I want to use the tracks on both my computer and portable player. OK, everything is set, so I'll click the Convert button. It will take a little time to convert, but we're all done. The tracks will then appear in the location you have specified. I could also have sent the converted tracks directly to my iPod player. Let's try that since I've already plugged in my iPod. My iPod is already selected in the device list, so I'll just check the box to force conversion to my preferred format before sending. My preferred format is iPod AAC in good quality, which is 128 kilobits per second. If I wanted higher or lower quality, I could click the Edit button and change it but I'm happy with this encoding, so I'll leave it. Now I'll click the Send button to send the tracks to my iPod and put them in the music playlist. Note that for iPods and iPhones, you need to have your iTunes preferences set to manual synchronization in order to send files directly from Creator. Otherwise, you can just copy your files to iTunes and sync from there. 